Hey, it's Carrie with Paste, and I'm here with Jason Jones. Hello. Kind of fun. And we're totally, <laughs> we're taking a detour Ooh. from this regular great, day. <laughs> great writing. Who wrote that? Um, yeah, I just thought of it. Okay. Because well. that was really, I had to. Yeah. Um, but to talk about detour. Yes, we are here to talk about the detour. Yes. Really hilarious show. Oh, thank you. One of the only funny shows my husband will watch. Really? Yeah, I'm not kidding. That's high praise. He really does like it. I'm glad. That's yeah. what was my goal. To There was too many sad coms <laughs> out there. I wanted to get back to a happy, funny com. Yes, that is actually... I wanted to put the com in comedy. <laughs> oh, you did it. Yeah. Um, I, what I like about it, I think, is the writing is so tight. Thank you. On it. So it's not... You don't feel like you're waiting for the next... You're not waiting Crappy for it to line? move. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really write punchlines. I write I write sort of funny stories and infuse it with you know a couple of funny references. But ultimately, if the story's not funny, I don't think you're ever laughing. So right. I always try to tell a funny story first and foremost. And then you know, and then we weave in you know funny moments and funny uh, absurdities and maybe a couple weird political moments as well. But for the most part, there's not, there's to me there's nothing more painfully unfunny than a, a setup and a bad punchline. Right. Yeah. And you don't feel that. It does feel like it's moving. And you have another backstory behind the story. You what's, know, wait, well, what's I mean, the about story behind wife. the story. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? True. Yes. So, yes. like, it's got a lot going on. So, if you a haven't, movement. yes, if you haven't seen it, mute your, mute your computer right now? Yeah. Mostly computers? Phones? Probably. Yes, phones. Yeah, mute your device your right now. Uh, last season, we uh, uh, we revealed at the end of the season that I had been interrogated all season long, only to find out that they were not after me, but after my wife, uh, for <coughs> uh, fraudulent uh, uh, identifications and fraudulent marriages that she <laughs> perpetrated, uh, perpetrated before she uh, before she met me, mm -hmm. and uh, they want her in jail. Before she met her one true love, because she's been. For yes. ten years or something, what is right? It? Okay, or eleven years. We were t uh, the kids are the kids are thirteen on the show, so thirteen. Okay, years. Yeah. so a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for thirteen years. But we basically married. Or no, sorry, another spoiler. We're not married. <laughs> <laughs> we're a couple who's been living together in sin for thirteen years, uh, but love each other very much. But mm -hmm. uh, she's she's hid that uh, very well because when she met me, it was a reset to her life. Mm -hmm. Her life had been going in a disastrous way. Resets it, and she's off to the races with me. Only to have it all fall, uh, all unravel, thirteen years later. Well, you know, life goes in up and down. <laughs> it does. It does go in up and down. Maybe not quite that much disaster all at one time, but you could see somebody that happening one time. Last like one of those things would really happen to somebody. Sure, sure, but that wouldn't be a funny show, would it? Right. <laughs> That's what makes it good. One funny thing happened to them. <laughs> that one episode was awesome. <laughs> the other nine, not so much. <laughs> It's almost like nothing happened. <laughs> be crazy. We have a joke actually about that sort of. Uh, we are uh, being s this fine this season. We sort of weave in the narrative of the interrogation that comes into the body of the show a okay. little bit. So we're under surveillance, mm -hmm. and you uh, they're watching the, the the federal agents are watching the footage, and it's three months of surveillance, and they go like, "Boy, nothing really happens with this family at all. <laughs> it's really boring." <laughs> Like most families. Like, this is a really boring family. And then it's just cuts to us a shop playing, you know, surveillance footage of us on game night. <laughs> like, it's nothing, nothing. I mean, the dad's just like a little bit drunk and she's, the mom's a little bit drunk. But other than that, it's a really boring family. Like most families. Like every family, yeah. So we caught out all those parts for your amusement and show you the funny parts. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, what all can we look forward to this season? Well, like I said, this season is about, if last season's, um, question or theme was you know are we good parents mm -hmm. resoundingly the answer was no but <laughs> this is it would it was how well do you know your wife how well do you know the person you married and uh to that i say not at all i don't know who she is so we find out who she is and uh you ask the question do you do you still want to be with that person right after you find out their past well, I don't want to spoil anything for you, well, but no, don't, you but can probably guess. I can. I think I can guess. Yeah. You know, when your wife looks a certain way, you're willing to forgive a couple, <laughs> couple past criminal allegations. It doesn't matter much. It doesn't matter. I'm yeah. not doing better than that. Grand scheme of things. Exactly. How much of this comes from your own life? 
Because you and Samantha write it together. Uh, we 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 co-wrote sometimes? the pilot together, and then she she worked on the first season with me. This okay. season, she you know she's uh, she got this other Fairly TV busy. show. She's got, she's, got, <laughs> she's not. She's just got this other TV show she's working on. I forget the name of it. Mm -hmm. I don't read enough about it in the press. Right. Uh, but I uh, uh, I pull kind of moments from life. You know, um, my son when he was five, uh, the, the the little hand on the on the street sign there's the white the white uh, walking person as I call it he, he he said like always uh, hey we gotta wait for the white man <laughs> and he would always say I'm like I don't know that doesn't sound right so so that was like a little moment I pulled and then hey what if he told the black couple walking the street it's like hey the white man didn't tell you to go yet right. so it's like a piece of reality and a piece of fiction and blend them together and it becomes a nice little scene right because that's the kind of thing kids do yeah, he just didn't want to. Well, well, yeah, he well, said, yeah. He, 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 no, didn't but know. he works from such a pure place that right. he literally didn't want them to break the law. Right. Which I say to him, uh, and you know, the response is like, "Who's law? Jim Crow?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, you're from the South. You get that. I mean, I do get that. Yeah, <laughs> South Carolina. You did do a whole episode. Great times. South well, I did. I we did. We did South Carolina last year. Yeah. We did. We did. Well, t three actually episodes. Yeah. Because we stopped at. Um, a, a a very close version of uh, south of the border, <laughs> yes, which is in South Carolina. Yep. And then we took a little veering, veering off to a to a, a southern uh, southern doctor's home, um, who right. happened to be a pedophile. Right. <laughs> well, it's legal. It yeah. is legal. Yes. My husband's a lawyer, so I was like, "Is that really?" He's like, "It is." Yeah. It's Sadly. Legal. Sixteen. Very Age true. Age of consent. Age of consent. I was like, "You should." That was actually one of my favorite. That. that was that was actually <laughs> one of my favorite scenes where we shot. Had nothing to do with any of it, just explaining that law. Of the the constitutional referendum on that on the age of consent and and just southern you know forty year old men discussing what the consent age of consent is and there's one guy just keeps screaming out seven <laughs> it must be seven and they're like how about sixteen he's like no it's too old <laughs> and it's so true yeah yeah but well I, I mean back then you only lived till thirty this so, is true you know. We'd be dead now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And you'd never get to experience that fine young. Yeah. I'm not going to get it. That's, Don't. Just, no, I think it's that's no. good. <laughs> As he puts it, a predilection for fine young pussy. <laughs> that's a quote. That's not me. That's right. a quote. Right. I know. That I you may didn't have, write. <laughs> that I may or may not <laughs> have written. You may or may not have made up. <laughs> but a, a quote you remember. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a quote from the show that I remember that someone said that someone wrote. What do you think? Of what's Was writing a scripted series always in the back of your mind? Because I wouldn't, when I think of you, I wouldn't think scripted right away until now. No, yeah, yeah I'm, I was certainly known for one thing. Mm -hmm. um, I never saw it that differently. I never saw what we did on the other show that different than, than what I'm doing now. Because I was in, in fact, what I'm doing now is much easier because then it was five minute pieces right. uh, that you were still telling the same story. You were telling a story of some person and juxtaposing conflict and, you know, uh, the, the difference being you were working with a real person and not an actor. So right. it was tough making them say things. Because, <laughs> you know, people are stubborn. I know. Would you say this? <laughs> you, never, you never put words in people's mouths, but you, you play games to put words in people's <laughs> mouths. I was, got pretty good at it. And I could uh, weave you into and play psychological torture with you for three hours under the hot lights. And they'd be like, well, what do you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is like a longer form version of that, and you know, we're still telling stories just in a twenty-one minute version as opposed to a five-minute version. Yeah. And actors are saying the lines, not real people. Maybe easier to control. Oh, so much actors. easier, and you're not crushing people's souls, so that's right. great, and that's good for my soul. <laughs> I don't walk away going, oh. Other than that stupid viewpoint he has, he's a nice guy. <laughs> Makes it nice. Yeah, Makes especially nice. when they invite you in your home, their homes, and then you sit there and. Make fun of them to their face. It's always yeah. rough. Did they always know that you were making fun of them to their face? No. Or did they sometimes not know and then watch it? It's always like, it was oh. always funny when they caught on in the middle of the interview. Mm -hmm. It was you, you'd be heading down a down a path, and then they just you'd see them go, "Oh, uh -oh. I see what you're doing." <laughs> <laughs> and by then it was way too late. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, then you had what you needed. Usually, yeah. Yeah, because that's no good. <laughs> then they, I, I although that's a. Even when people cut on, I think I only had one guy walk out on me the whole time. Really? Like, like 150 field pieces, maybe one guy worked out. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. I guess show people are... Americans are nice. Pretty nice. Americans are nice. They sit down and take it. Yeah. <laughs> take the like, lumps. Oh, you know, well. Yeah. Want to be on TV? <laughs> sit. 
Or actually, you'll really get on TV if you walk out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guarantee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's it like working with kids that aren't your own kids? Uh, that aren't my own kids. My own kids are actually in it. Oh, uh, yeah. My, my last season and this season, my son plays me in oh, Flashbacks. Oh, yeah. Flashback scenes. That's my, that. that's my son, yeah. And in weird, eatable casting, uh, uh, Samantha, my wife, plays my mom. Okay, I thought maybe that was her. Yes, yes. We didn't credit her, uh, but so we shot her like this, yeah. uh, you know, like a Peanuts character. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> very intentionally. <laughs> it's weird. Um, but, uh, and then my daughters uh, play uh, two little parts this year, too. And honestly, kids, people say, you know, don't work with kids and animals. I'll give them the animal thing, but the kids, they're great. They just perform exactly the way you want them to all the time. <laughs> then you say, do it again, and they do it. Yeah. It's really great. It's great. If you pick great kids. Right. You know, there's lots of terrible kid actors out there. Well, sure. Terrible. But if you pick the right kids, they're just brilliant. They're, and they, they show up. They don't ask any stupid motivation questions. They know their lines. <laughs> they well, just they say them. They know their motivation. They're kids. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> come in and hit your mark, say your line. Yeah. Like, it's pure. It really is pure. There's yeah. no... There's no crap going on in their head, which is kind of how I like to work. Don't overthink it. No. Just trust the writing and say it honestly. How do you decide, as far as when you're you're writing, do you pick have a big team of writers? Is no. this mostly your I would baby? Say, I would say story, yes. Yeah, story's me. Um, I've got th three guys that I trust very well to help me write. Um one directs most of the episodes. I got a, one of the best joke writers on planet Earth, also who comes up with things that I'm just not capable of. Like his brain is on like a parallel universe sort of thing, and I always go like, "Ah, oh, this needs like Chad, Chad," <laughs> and then he just throws out this reference. I'm like, "Yep, yeah." The predilection line, I yeah. think, I think was him. <laughs> like, just he punched that up. Yeah, it's just it's not even the punch up. It's just like he he reaches into like his inner, you know, uh, antebellum. Self and pulls out like coughs out is this he line. Southern? Or he's from he's from he's from Western Virginia. In oh, West Virginia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That explains it. Yeah, so it definitely is a certain type. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they they all they all help me form, but then ultimately I sort of then take everything and reform the way I want it to be. Are you asking me if I'm a control freak? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, it's your thing. So <laughs> it is my thing. Yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah, control. Yeah. No, it's, it, but it's not even about that. It's really just wanting the best product product out there and, and I, I think if you lose focus sometimes it, it can feel that way it can feel a little frayed mm -hmm. and ultimately I want to be blamed and for everything you know well yeah get all the praise and all the blame yeah and that's yeah. all good I don't even want the praise I just want the blame I'm a masochist <laughs> I'll, ten, I'll get 10 great reviews and yeah. uh, one bad one and I'll just I'll just yell about the bad one all day I don't, maybe need to work on that. No, I like it. It's it's you a good do? place to work. That's, that's where, what pushes you. That's where like comedy comes from. I think like this is <laughs> angry. This angry place. <laughs> well, if, you, if you're you were talking about this earlier, like you know, if if you, your life is perfect, right? There's nothing funny about that. That is true. Nothing funny. Living yeah. in New York City, I just like every day I come across something stupid and funny. <laughs> just on the street, just walking, you're like oh god, look at this guy. What are you doing? Well, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> You do see it all yeah, here. Everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to you want to work from that place. Of, I, I always say like, I like to be back on my heels because mm -hmm. it's it's where you find the funniest moments hmm. when you're uncomfortable. Well, <laughs> yeah, struggling, it's, it's struggling. Working. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> struggling to maintain your balance. <laughs> How do you maintain balance with three kids and a wife with a very busy career uh, and your own busy career? It's simple. It's you know honestly, it's simple. We don't. <laughs> At all. We don't either. I'm there's glad no to hear that it there's does no balance. not. No, no there's no balance at all. Yeah. Uh, our, our projects come first. Just yeah. Yeah. Then and, some and then, then sometimes kids. No. I, I put them like fifth on the list. <laughs> I'd be like projects, uh, um, great dinners. Right. You know, our cat, um, good bowl of soup. You know, Campbell's. and then uh, what's a little salty for me? I'm, I'm more of an artisanal kind. Oh so. yes. And then uh, and and then kids definitely definitely yeah. definitely top five. That's good. Or six. Mm -hmm. We have more than one. Because I forgot about beer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beer is definitely but like a good five. good like double IPA is like come on, you're not gonna argue that. Three <laughs> kids aren't gonna beat that. You can't compete with that. Oh. They're gonna watch this one day and go, you're a dick. <laughs> They'll know you were kidding. Will they? 
Well, it is your job, so... True, true. So Did I, you really mean that, Daddy? <laughs> I always feel like when you do jokes, it gives you a little leeway. Like, oh, yeah. Right. It does, it does give you leeway. Mom, when you joke it. all the time, <laughs> and then one time you're not joking, and it really offends people, you go, I was joking. <laughs> it's easy. It. Yeah, it's easy to blame jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what about when you parent, though? When you, do you ever have to lay down the hammer a little bit? I... Yeah, of course, you know, of course. Yeah. yeah, you need. They, they need some. Kids need boundaries. Or is else. that you? I'm the, you boundary. the boundary. I'm person? absolutely the boundary person. Yeah. I kind of wondered from the show how you wrote yourself. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm not. Dis- I'm not too dissimilar to Nate in terms of. I'm. I'm a little smarter than Nate, maybe. <laughs> I maybe. That, maybe. Nate, I believe that you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've known each other 15 minutes, and I believe that you are. But yeah. N- Nate punches first and asks questions <laughs> right. later. You know, uh, like the guy in the bear suit. <laughs> like, why are you punching this guy? Or just like let him explain himself, then punch him. Right. Um, but yeah, it it's uh, you have to give a little structure to their life. Unstructured kids are just the worst. I they really it. are. I would kind of agree. Like just seeing just seeing a kid like being coerced, like a three year old, and their mom is like, Johnny, we're getting on the elevator now. Like, no. Like, Johnny, we need to go up to our apartment, Johnny. Like, no! Like, pull the motherfucking elevator. I'm trying to go. <laughs> I am with you. Yeah. I went to a party once, and uh, kids were, uh, all the parents were drinking, and one of the grandmothers came to me, and she went, I'm sorry, this, oh, their kids are running out in the hall, and, and you know, I can't get them back in. I'm trying to explain to them being too loud. And all the, the people in the hallway are getting upset. So can you help me? And I watched out in the hallway. Hey! Get out of the hall! And they all went, and they all walked back into the party. And the grandmother went, oh my God, thank you so much. No one parents like that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was you like, know? yeah, they oh, should. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. They should. I know. They, sometimes kids just need like a little crack whip. I know. The, I have get out of the hall. I'm not going to sit here and explain why you shouldn't be in the hall. Get out of the hall. I'm with you. When you're 18, you can go be in the hall. Yeah, and then you get in trouble. <laughs> and then you'll roll, but then you'll realize, ah, it's, it's only a hall. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen better halls. I've had better parties. Yeah. Not in this hall. Do you tell your kids the truth? Yes. All the time? You have to. I agree. You have to, or else you'll get caught. That was one of the things I liked the most about it was because we also always tell our kids the truth. Even when it's terrible. I it, mean, really terrible sometimes. It's still better. What's the most terrible thing you've told your kids the truth about? Uh, we did have a very uncomfortable conversation about where the baby comes out. What's uncomfortable there? Vagina. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Yeah. He's like, I figured it out today, Mom, because I know the babies can't come out your mouth. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, here, uh-huh. you are correct. Uh-huh. They cannot. No. I didn't enjoy that, but we had a... But you know what the weird but thing he is? Felt on, he felt open talking to me, and I was it's, happy. It's only uncomfortable for win. us. It's right. not for them. No, nope. he was they're, like, oh, yeah. They're just inquisitive. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I screwed up the other day. Uh, I uh, TBS sent out this Valentine's Day package, mm-hmm. and uh, I didn't think anything of it, and I thought it was just candies and stuff, but it was a bad Valentine's Day package from Nate. It's a marketing thing. Oh, okay. And uh, inside of it was toilet paper and expired chocolates and a bunch of other jokes. And one of them was a bell, like a little ding-ding bell. And on it, it said, BJ Bell. <laughs> and my daughter goes, what's a BJ? And I, I panicked. And I went, right, right. I think, it's an acronym. It's like, <laughs> I know what an acronym is. For what? What's it stand for? <laughs> and I was sure. I was like, ah. Yeah. I panicked. And I went, bologna jam. <laughs> She's like, bologna jam. I'm like, yeah, it's like minced, okay. meat, minced, meat, minced meat jam. Right. Of course, I don't even think they all have iPads. She Googles bologna jam. Not think, not knowing. <laughs> On Urban Dictionary, a bologna jam is uh, forcefully ramming your bologna and jamming your bologna oh. into your vagina. So I then had to explain rape <laughs> instead of a simple blowjob. <laughs> so be honest. Always tell the truth. Be honest. Oh my gosh. Rape is a much more difficult conversation bad. than a blowjob. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Be honest. <laughs> That is honesty is the best policy. It really is. That's a that's a hackneyed expression for a reason. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. Of course, I'm glad that's and the I story we go out much. on. I think <laughs> baloney jam. I think that's perfect. Yeah, go out on Why? a baloney jam. I believe. I agree. No offense. <laughs>
No offense None. to all you ladies who've experienced a bologna jam. None taken. Okay. <laughs>